Hello. Uh, first and foremost, I apologize. This video sucks. I really wanted to do a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to change this control board for the uh, Ninebot by Segway ES2 uh, kick scooter. I did not succeed in doing so. Um, I do have some video clips uh, that I will put together in this video and you'll see and I will try and get as close as possible to doing a step-by-step -step video as I can. Um, a little review, if you're thinking about buying this scooter, don't. Uh, there are a lot of negative comments about the failure of this control board uh, and they are pretty common. This was the replacement that was sent to me by Segway uh, Ninebot and this one was defective. So needless to say, uh, because I was fortunate enough that I'm in my 30-day window from the purchase uh, of my scooter, it is on its way back to the seller. Uh, it was a POS and uh, I didn't want to mess with it anymore. Too much of an investment to have um, one of these fail and then when you get a replacement, uh, this one fails too. So anyway. So here is my attempt of a step-by-step -step tutorial of how to change this control board. There will also be a link to the video uh, that I did showing what happens when a control board fails. So anyway, I wasted enough of your time. No wait, no I didn't. I'm about to waste more of it. So again, any questions, put them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. Good luck. So this is a video on how to replace the control board on the Ninebot ES series scooter uh, by Segway. Uh, control boards are known to fail, um, and I will let you know that this is a job not for the faint at heart. Uh, so if you're not comfortable with working on electronics um, or not mechanically inclined, you may want to leave this job for the professionals. But if you have some experience working on these items uh, and feel comfortable doing the job, by all means, have at it. Um, you do need to have a good set of uh, hex keys, uh, Allen keys, um, a long pair of needle nose pliers, uh, and a lot of patience. Now, as you can see, I do have the extended range battery. Uh, you will need to remove that and the mounting bracket as well to do this job. So the first step is to remove these two Allen keys on this side or hex keys, uh, the two on the other side and remove the handlebar assembly, much like it was when you assembled the scooter. Uh, so take that off first. Inside the tube, there are two holes and you're gonna use a long pair of needle nose pliers, put them in the hole and twist Okay, it's basically like a locking mechanism. I don't know if you can see in there, but you can see everything now is lined up and you should be able to slide that piece out. Just pull up gently on each side. Okay, uh, you'll notice on the front of your uh, scooter you have two uh, hex head screws, you need to remove those two. And then on the back side, there's this piece with two screws that's covered with a sticker that says, um, your warranty will be void if removed. So um, definitely make sure you know what you're doing uh, before you, you go into the scooter. Of course, I don't, but I am a mechanic by trade and uh, pretty handy when it comes to stuff like this. So. We're gonna give it a shot. We took these four screws out and now your entire harness is right there. So we're gonna take care in separating all of the plugs. Okay, there's one, two. Now the rest of these should all be color coded. There's blue. And they just pull apart. 
but be very careful when you do this. All right, so the control board is in here. I've got everything disconnected here, and now we just have to figure out how to get this piece out. So you will see inside is the same type of plastic piece that was in the top that you need to turn to remove. Um, I've removed every screw here and just a, a light tap on the ground and got the battery and the control board to remove. So now I have to do the process of putting the new control board uh, on the tube here, whatever it's officially called, I don't know. But regardless, again, don't attempt this job if you're not comfortable working with tools. So as I mentioned, the step-by-step -step tutorial kind of ended right there and I apologize. But the good news is I still have this control board. So um, the next step after you get the control board and the battery separated from the steer tube is this cable. Just kind of press fit in there, just pull that one out. The battery clips in to the control board. You'll separate that. And then inside you have your power connection as well as a multi-pin connection there. You want to disconnect those and use your needle nose pliers, but be very careful. It's a very delicate uh, componentry in there. So separate them. Uh, and at that point, the control board is no longer needed. This, uh, take your new one. Um, and now you're going to reconnect it the same way you disconnected before. So you got your power pin there and your multi-pin connector there. And once they're connected, um, and you'll see these, these slots here, they line up with the slots on the battery as well. Uh, so once you make your connection, snap it together. Now before you snap this into place in the battery and uh, put everything back in the steer tube, hook everything up while it's all out in the open. Turn on your scooter. Make sure you don't get any error codes. It'll save you a lot of trouble if you may have missed something, which hopefully you didn't. But anyway. That's pretty much it. Once you get it all back together again, the steps to assemble is just the exact opposite of the disassembly. And I am hopeful that you have good luck or better luck than I did. Um, but if you're at this point, you may want to consider getting rid of it because who knows how long your new control board is going to last. But anyway, hope this helps. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to put them in the comments below and I will do my best to answer them for you. Um, best of luck and thanks for watching my video. Take care.